Today I'm going to take this piece of oak planking. Now you'll you'll notice that it's it's cupped here, flat here or flat-ish. Um, it's sort of fairly straight, but on the flat side, it is slightly twisted. I'm going to set this up in my 6012 CNC router. And I'm going to flatten that surface first. And then I'm going to laminate it to this piece of pine, Tasmanian pine actually. Okay, so I've got my piece of oak now secured on this piece of half inch MDF. So now I'm going to set it up on the table here. So what I do is I know that this piece of oak is square to this piece of um, material. So I just set up this edge parallel with one of the T-slots here. And that's all you need. It's perfect. So now we'll just clamp it down. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch the gantry all the way up to the home position up here and we're going to put a, a surfacing tool on a big 50 mil or 2 inch fly cutter to surface this off or plane it off. That's another thing with these CNC routers. You know, you can put a half a tree trunk in here if you want to and you can plane it off nice and flat. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to use Mac 3 or I'm going to use a wizard in Mac 3 to simply write a GCO program to face this off. What I always use actually just for surfacing for for quickness is a rectangle pocket which is is fine. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay so it's posted the code and now we can um, now we can get out of this. So we exit and it's into Mac 3 now. So now we can set up the zero position. Okay. So now we're going to set up the zero zero point of the workpiece or the G54. G54 is just a title for in, in G code for Mac 3 to know, well, this is the start of the job. Okay, and it's also called, called a work offset. And what that means is normal position, your machine, your, your head here, is normally in right in this corner here, right on the limit switches. That's called the machine hum. And what the work offset means is exactly that, that the workpiece is offset from the home position over here. So we're going to set that position now in Mark 3. So anyway, we're going to jog this around now. We've got it set on slow jog. So we bring the X over this way. It's only got to be a roughly. Oh, that'll do there, I think. Why? That'll do. Because don't forget, the footprint or the machining footprint that I just drew up in the wizard is a lot bigger than what this actual material is. So I don't miss parts, miss the corners. Um, and we'll take it down. Can virtually that's it. Yeah, that the tool is just scraping the top. So that's on the top. So now we're gonna go over to Mag 3 and set the zero zero. Okay, so to zero 
the machine is just simply let So that's one way of servicing a piece of material off fairly quickly. And the other way is actually using oh. your pendant. So I'll face off this material now just by using the pendant. No G-code writing, straight off this. Now that is beautiful, smooth and flat. So the next thing I have to do now is remove this off this piece of waste material and laminate it to that beautiful piece of Tasmanian pipe. 